As I read through the comments here on the channel, I sometimes get requests that ask me how to complete certain tasks. And I recently saw a question that asked me how to extract the individual image files from a Samsung firmware. These .img files usually aren't used when flashing firmware files to a Samsung Galaxy device, but I do understand that in certain situations, you may need one of them. So after doing some research, I figured out how this can be done on Windows, and I would like to show you how in today's video. When you first download the firmware for a Samsung Galaxy smartphone or tablet, it will look like this. It's going to just be a single file that is compressed in a zip file that you will then need to extract. Once extracted, you will either get a folder like this here, or you'll get a collection of files. It will just depend on where you downloaded that firmware from and how it was extracted. Either way, these are still not the individual firmware files that make up the Android file system. Instead, they are still a collection of compressed files that each contain their own set of files. So on Windows, I'm able to get into these files by simply renaming them. So by default, you can see they all have the .md5 file extension. We can edit that and remove that .md5 extension part. You could also right click a file and then select properties and then you could rename it right here. Again, you would just want to remove that .md5 and then click on OK. Once the file has been renamed and the .md5 file extension has been removed and now it is just a .tar file, you should be able to open up this file in one of many file compression programs. I use 7-zip on my desktop here. And just like that, you can see I now have access to all of the individual firmware files that were compressed inside of this AP file. So now if you needed the boot.image file for this Samsung firmware, then we can just click and drag that out here. Maybe you need the recovery.image file or the super.image file. We just need to click and drag. Now you may have noticed that these are LZ4 files and not simple image files right now. LZ4 is another data compression type that you can extract with a terminal command. So if you wanted to do that, we would just open up a terminal command from within this window and then execute that command. Or you could use an alternate version of 7-zip called 7-zip ZS, and that will allow you to extract these LZ4 files. Either way, using this method, you can now extract the contents of your Samsung firmware download files.